Listening five. Warm up. Listen. Put a tick or a cross in the box. When I was four, I could put my shoes on by myself, but I couldn't tie my shoelaces. My mum was in hospital, having my baby sister when I was four. I couldn't comb my hair by myself, so it looked funny. On my first day of school, I could climb the stairs by myself. I could carry my school bag by myself, but I couldn't pack it by myself. Mum helped me. Now I can pack my school bag and carry it by myself. I can't go to school by myself yet. My grandma takes me. Listen again and check your answers. When I was four, I could put my shoes on by myself, but I couldn't tie my shoelaces. My mum was in hospital, having my baby sister when I was four. I couldn't comb my hair by myself, so it looked funny. On my first day of school, I could climb the stairs by myself. I could carry my school bag by myself, but I couldn't pack it by myself. Mum helped me. Now I can pack my school bag and carry it by myself. I can't go to school by myself yet. My grandma takes me. Practice one. Aunt Mandy is reading a story to Lucy. You now have one minute to study the questions below. Now listen to the story. When you hear a beep, answer the question. The story will be played twice. The story will begin now. This story is about a girl called Helen. Helen came from a very rich family. She lived in a big house. There were servants to do everything for Helen and her brother Ricky. So they didn't know how to do things by themselves. Helen was fourteen, but she couldn't get dressed by herself. She had beautiful long hair, but she couldn't comb it by herself. Her brother Ricky was two years younger than her. He couldn't do up his buttons or tie his shoelaces by himself. His servants helped him. Question one. Why couldn't Helen and Ricky do things by themselves? Question two: What couldn't Helen do by herself? One day. Something terrible happened to Helen's family. A servant took all her father's money and ran away. They didn't have any money, so they couldn't have servants to help them any more. Helen's mother wanted to cut Helen's hair short, 
because Helen couldn't comb her hair by herself. But Helen said, Please don't cut my hair. Question 3. Why didn't they have servants anymore? Question 4. How did Helen feel? I'll learn how to comb it by myself, said Helen. I'll learn to do things by myself, and I'll help you wash the dishes and cook dinner too, I promise. So, in the end, Helen kept her long hair. Question 5. What did Helen promise to do? Helen kept her promise. She cooked the meals for the family every day. At first, the food was awful, but later she made better food. She began to enjoy cooking. She read a lot of cookbooks and tried new dishes every day. In the end, she had her own restaurant and she became rich. Question 6. Number the correct order of events. Write the number 1 to 4 in the correct picture. Listen to the story again and check your answers. This story is about a girl called Helen. Helen came from a very rich family. She lived in a big house. There were servants to do everything for Helen and her brother Ricky, so they didn't know how to do things by themselves. Helen was 14, but she couldn't get dressed by herself. She had beautiful long hair, but she couldn't comb it by herself. Her brother Ricky was two years younger than her. He couldn't do up his buttons or tie his shoelaces by himself. His servants helped him. One day, something terrible happened to Helen's family. A servant took all her father's money and ran away. They didn't have any money so they couldn't have servants to help them anymore. Helen's mother wanted to cut Helen's hair short because Helen couldn't comb her hair by herself. But Helen said, Please, don't cut my hair. I'll learn how to comb it by myself, said Helen. I'll learn to do things by myself, and I'll help you wash the dishes and cook dinner too, I promise. So, in the end, Helen kept her long hair. Helen kept her promise. She cooked the meals for the family every day. At first, the food was awful, but later she made better food. She began to enjoy cooking. She read a lot of cookbooks and tried new dishes every day. In the end, she had her own restaurant and she became rich. This is the end of practice one. Practice two. Lucy is showing Aunt Mandy the project she did at school. You have one minute to study the questions below.
Now listen to the conversation between Aunt Mandy and Lucy. When you hear a beep, answer the question. The conversation will be played twice. The conversation will begin now. Do you like your new school, Lucy? Yes, I do. There are a lot of after-school English activities, and I have a really nice English teacher. We did a very interesting project last week. Is that your project book on the table? Yes, it's all about me. Look. Oh, you have a lot of photos of yourself in your project book. Look at this picture of me. This is me when I was four. I could get dressed by myself, but I couldn't do up my buttons. Mum helped me. Question one: What is Lucy's project about? Question two: Which picture is correct? My son Danny couldn't do up his buttons when he was four, but now he can. He can put on his shoes by himself, but he can't tie his shoelaces by himself yet. I couldn't tie my shoelaces when I was little. I thought it was so difficult, but on my sixth birthday, Grandma gave me a present. It was a pair of. Beautiful red shoes. I really wanted to put them on by myself, so I learnt how to tie my shoelaces. Mum was so happy about that. Question three: What can Danny do now? Question four. Why did Lucy learn to tie her shoelaces by herself? Look at this picture of me. I could read story books by myself. Danny can't read story books by himself. He doesn't like reading. He only likes watching TV. When I was in primary two, I spent a lot of time playing computer games. But when I was in primary three, I started reading a lot of books. Question five: How does Aunt Mandy feel? Question six: What did Lucy like to do when she was in primary two? Did you read them by yourself? At first, I couldn't read the story books by myself. Mum read them with me and helped me learn new words. Now I go to the library every week to borrow new books. Maybe I should read with Danny more. I have a lot of books, and some of them are too easy for me. Danny can have them if he likes. Question seven: What idea does Aunt Mandy get from Lucy? Question eight: What will Aunt Mandy say to Lucy at the end of the conversation? Listen to the conversation again and check your answers. Do you like your new school, Lucy? Yes, I do. 
There are a lot of after-school English activities, and I have a really nice English teacher. We did a very interesting project last week. Is that your project book on the table? Yes, it's all about me. Look. Oh, you have a lot of photos of yourself in your project book. Look at this picture of me. This is me when I was four. I could get dressed by myself, but I couldn't do up my buttons. Mum helped me. My son Danny couldn't do up his buttons when he was four, but now he can. He can put on his shoes by himself, but he can't tie his shoelaces by himself yet. I couldn't tie my shoelaces when I was little. I thought it was so difficult. But on my sixth birthday, Grandma gave me a present. It was a pair of beautiful red shoes. I really wanted to put them on by myself, so I learnt how to tie my shoelaces. Mum was so happy about that. Look at this picture of me. I could read story books by myself. Danny can't read story books by himself. He doesn't like reading. He only likes watching TV. When I was in primary two, I spent a lot of time playing computer games. But when I was in primary three, I started reading a lot of books. Did you read them by yourself? At first, I couldn't read the story books by myself. Mum read them with me and helped me learn new words. Now I go to the library every week to borrow new books. Maybe I should read with Danny more. I have a lot of books, and some of them are too easy for me. Danny can have them if he likes. This is the end of practice two.